Hello once again everyone, this is Rob with Provail Technology coming with another video your way. Today we're going to see how to export monitors and how to re-import them if they are lost. So let's go ahead and dive in. So when we are in our control center, all we need to do is simply get to all of our monitors. So we're going to go to the automation tab, we'll then go to the monitors and click in. We're then greeted with our monitor is going over into our internal monitors. We're going to look for the monitor that we would need. And here is our monitor that we need to save just in case this monitor gets removed or accidentally deleted. This is a super epic top secret monitor and we cannot lose it. So to go ahead and save this monitor for the future, all we need to do is go into the monitor itself. Down here in the bottom right, we have our wonderful export option. We'll go ahead and click export. And here we're going to go ahead and save our monitor. We're going to name it our a name that helps us remember what this monitor does. And you'll see that it's going to go ahead and be saved as a SQL file. We'll go ahead and save it. We'll greet it with the export is successful. And we'll go ahead and close out. Now, say this monitor is now deleted by accident. Someone came in. Our super epic top secret monitor is now gone. But have no fear. Restore is here. So we're going to go into <coughs> our system control center. We're going to go into our general option. Into import. And we're going to look for the SQL file. Once clicking in a SQL file, it's then going to call up our browse for a file. Luckily, we're right where we need to be, which is where we saved it. And there we go. We can see our super epic top secret SQL file. We'll go ahead and open. It's going to warn us that it's going to import one statement into the database directly. We'll hit yes. That statement is now imported. All we simply need to do is go back into our monitors, refresh, and we see that our monitor is back in here. So that is how you export and then import monitors. A tip to the greats is when exporting a monitor, do the best thing and always change your alert template to default do nothing. The reasoning behind this is because say you're importing it into an environment and for some reason the alert templates have changed and it might pull in the wrong alert template, you do not want it firing off with that incorrect alert template. So the best practice is always to export with default do nothing so that when you import it back in, it will still be that same alert template. And this is another video on how to work inside Automate. Thank you and take care.